Hello, hope you're doing well today. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a toggle or a switch, whatever you want to call it, from scratch. So here you can see what I have. Um, you can click here and you will see that nice animation. The color will change and this on and off text will change. And the only thing we need for that is a little bit of JavaScript. So do not worry if you don't know or if you don't have a lot of JavaScript um, experience. It's going to be very simple. But most importantly, the toggle is just HTML and CSS. All right. This little cool animation and everything. All right, so let's go to the code editor here. Here, the only thing I did was um, I created an, an index HTML. A main JavaScript is is uh, empty, and a style CSS that is empty. All right. In my HTML, I added a reset CSS to make sure everything is good. Do not worry, I will add a link so you can get all this code in the description of the video below. So go there if you want that let's go here and start adding a little bit of html first thing i'm gonna add my own css even if i don't have something there all right let's add the css there you go style css and then um after the body i'm gonna add my javascript let's do that too script source this one is main.js there you go all right, so now we have that ready. Let's add some HTML. So for the toggle, I'm gonna add a label and then everything's gonna be inside that label. And I do that because when you click a label, the actual checkbox um, is gonna be checked. I'm gonna show you that. So let's do um, label. And what we are gonna do is I'm gonna add a class. Uh, you can do whatever you want here. I'm gonna do toggle. Just choose something easy that you like. Um, the on and off text, I'm just gonna add a span for that. And we can do for now off. And I'm gonna add a class of, um, let's say on and off, something simple. All right. And now we're gonna add the checkbox input. So let's do input. Type is going to be checkbox. There you go. And close that. And then after that, we're going to add the slider thing, you know, that little thing with an animation. So let's do a span with a class of slider. And this one's going to be round just in case you have uh, multiple. Let's say we do a square one in the future. We do, I don't know, different. Um, so that's why I added the round class. Okay. And that's all we need for HTML. That's it. All right. So I'm going to save this. And as you can see here, I don't know, it's super small, but um, there's an off text and then the check box. That's about it. That's the HTML. Now we need to add a little bit of CSS and that will do the magic. All right, the CSS animation is going to make it look very good. And then if we want a little bit more extra stuff changing when you check the box, then we need JavaScript, which we're going to do. All right. So let's go to CSS. First, we're going to do the body. So we're going to be adding some cool gradient stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So body. The height, I'm, I'm, I want to center the toggle left and, um, you know, vertical and horizontally. So let's do that. And for that, I'm going to do the height is going to be 100% um, viewport height. Okay. And the width, it can be 100%. Uh, I'm going to use display flex. That way we can easily center that using this justify content center. And uh, align, align items center. And um, I don't know, some cool uh, gradient background here that I have. So let's, I'm just going to copy and paste it here. There we go. Save. Now we're talking. So we have this gradient here. So dark gradient, bluish. And as you can see, our toggle here is centered. And we can just click. There you go. It works. 
Now let's keep going. Let's do our toggle. We need to add position relative because we're going to have some position absolutes inside the toggle. So let's make sure we have that. The toggle input is the actual checkbox. Is going to be position absolute. Let's do, we need to hide it because we honestly do not want this checkbox. We just want to make sure we can use what it comes with it. When we check this box um, on CSS, you're going to see later, but we can actually say if this checkbox is checked, do this. You're going to see it in a minute, okay? But we just need to um, make sure people don't see it. So the opacity um, zero with it can be zero, height it can be zero. Let's save that. And now you can see we don't see it, but people can actually click on it. You don't see it, but it's actually clicking on and off. All right. Let's go ahead and do the toggle on and off. The on and off text. Uh, let's change the color to white. Uh, font size, I want it to be pretty big. So I'm going to do 6 EM. I want to be a um, I'll, uh, center that text. So uh, text align center. Display block. That way it gets the whole uh, space of that um, element. I'll save it. Let's see how it looks. There you go. Works. And now the fun family, I don't like that fun family. So let's change it to like Helvetica, Arial, whatever. That's better. All right. All right. So that's done. We have the on and off style done. Let's go ahead and play with the slider. So let's do slider. Position relative display block. Oops. Sorry. Let's do the um, the cursor is going to be pointer. That way, when we hover, we get that pointer pointer, um, the little hand, you know, that helps people to understand that you can click on something. Uh, background color that's going to be like a dark gray. So three, 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 that that works. Let's add a little bit of transition. Um, that way, um, when you click and do the animation, we have some smooth uh, transition. Okay. The width, I'm going to do it pretty big. That way we can see it, but it doesn't have to be this huge or now with 200 pixels height, 120 pixels. Let's say that. And here you go. So as you can, you can see that when you hover you can see the little hand and that's good. That way, you know, we know, and people know that you can actually click. All right, let's create a little white thing that moves when you click. And we're going to do that with a pseudo class, the before pseudo class. So let's do this. Slider before pseudo class content, nothing. This is going to be position absolute. Let's do height 100 pixels with 100 pixels. So it's like a square, a background color, um, pure white. Let's add transition to this for the smooth animation. And uh, let's save that. Let's see how it looks. All right, here you go. So what we want is make sure that when we click, this goes this way, right? When it's checked, when the checkbox checkbox is checked, which we don't see, it's gonna go to the to the right. All right. So let's go ahead because we have some space here. I wanna I wanna kind of center it. So what I can do is top uh, ten pixels and left ten pixels. Let's see if that works. There we go. So we added ten pixels to the top, ten pixels to the left. And now it's looking a lot like a toggle or a switch button. 
right? All right, so let's go ahead. And I know you can, yeah, you can add those um, border radius, make it look better. It can be round. It can, um, you can do whatever you want. This is CSS. The sky is the limit, is it? The sky is the limit, or your imagination is the limit. I think that's better. All right, so here's the magic. So let's go ahead and say input and take a look at this. Shacked. So when the input is shacked, which means when you click it and it's shacked, what do you want to do? So the one I, what I, what I want to do is change the slider. All right. So I'm going to do plus sign, which is the immediate element with this class. So I'm going to do slider. Before, which is the, um, the little white thing here transform and we're going to do translate x okay and um, if you do the math if we move this um 100 pixels which is this let's do that let's see how we'll see what happens click there you go so it moved 100 pixels but remember we have 10 pixels um already there so let's go ahead and do the math and it's supposed to be 80 that way we have um, 10 pixels here and um rem rem remembering that we have the 10 pixels to the left already okay save that there you go and now look at this we already have a working toggle Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more CSS. Let me scroll down here. All right. So remember that we added, let's go back to HTML. We added this round class. So now we can actually say, you know, if it's round, then put some border radius and all that. Okay. So let's do a slider. with the class of round. We're gonna do border radius uh, 20 pixels. Save. There you go. Now we have a little bit of border radius there. We're gonna do the same thing um, with, so I'm just gonna copy and paste it. But here I'm gonna do before pseudo class, okay? Save. And there you go. Beautiful. All right, something else I want to do is change the color when it's on. So let's go ahead. Um, we can go up here, somewhere here, and we can do this actually up here. Input checked. And I want to just do the slider. And we can change the background color of the slider. We can change, we can do whatever we want here with CSS. So let's just change the background color. It's like an orange that I want. So I'm just going to, I have it here, the hex. Copy and paste. And you can see it's an orange. And a little bit of box shadow. That way it's like, it adds like there's a little bit of, um, is bloom the word or a glow? So box shadow, zero, zero, 12 pixels, pixels and the same orange here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Save that, let's click. There we go, beautiful. So you can see a little bit of, you know, glow and then turn it off, goes back, turn it on, beautiful. So as you can see, that was not that hard. It's actually pretty easy with CSS. We have this checked that you can play with and change how it looks depending off on if it's checked or, or it's not. You can do a lot. It doesn't have to be only this. You can change whatever you want in your website. You can do it like you can do the dark mode. You can change 
the text how we're gonna do right now we're gonna change this text from on to off so now 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 that we're done with this let's go to javascript the part that i really like because you can you know play with the behavior of the website do a lot of cool things all right first thing let's um, create a variable let's call it toggle is on is it going to be equal to document dot query selector right here and we're going to get the input so i'm going to do toggle input there we go i think that's correct yep and now that we have that we can add an event listener to you know listen to the click so let's do a toggle dot add event a listener and we want what we want to do is when the user clicks whoops sorry that's not what i want clicks we want to run a function okay i'm gonna do an arrow function you can do a regular function if you want to and now what i want to do is change the text all right on or off so when you click it's going to be on when you go back it's going to be off all right so we need to act, we need to literally toggle the text so let's create a variable for that text const let's call it on on off is equal to toggle dot parent node and i'm doing the parent node i'm going to go back to explain because um, we're clicking this input we are going up here to the parent and searching for the on and off text and changing it okay that's why i'm doing the parent node All right parent node and then query selector and what are we looking the on and off and that's a class of that on and off element now that we have that all we have to do is on off text content is going to be equal to what well it's going to be equal to on or off but how would you do that how, how do we change the test content here to on and off depending on if it's click or not well take a look at this we can do something called uh, ternary condition Tur turn ternary that's uh, something like that take a look toggle oops toggle checked and this is actually provided by JavaScript. So a cool thing that they did was add, adding this checked. So this is gonna be th true or false, okay? So if, if it's checked, it's gonna be true. If it's false, it's gonna be, if it's not checked, it's gonna be false, that's simple. So if this is true, I'm gonna add a question mark. This is gonna be on. If it's not true, what's going to be off take a look at this so the on and off test content is going to be equal to on or off depending on this condition all right this is like an if statement It's saying like if the toggle is checked please the text is going to be on if it's not so if else is going to be off that simple all right let's save it hopefully this works there you go beautiful this is gorgeous all right take a look at this is this simple javascript to make this that change and this css to make sure that toggle looks good and animated smooth animation color changing beautiful toggle i hope you learned something new with this video i know it's simple but it's something that i think every single person needs to learn how inputs work how the check works how all that works and this is a cool example so thank you so much that's it Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.